Hey guys, what's up? Well, um, back with a new franchise review. Today, I'm going to review the Halloween franchise. So, well, I don't have every single DVD of Halloween. I have a few. I, of course, have the original and so forth. Uh, but I don't have every single Halloween movie on DVD. Some of them are bad, and I don't want them, but I am collecting them. Um, but here in Norway, it's pretty hard to find all of them. But I have seen every single Halloween movie, so don't worry. Um, sorry if you miss my couch and all that. Well, <clears throat> um... I'm decorating a little bit here in my room, so um, I can't really use the couch right now, so I'm just sitting in my bed, so just ignore these and that, and I think that was God behind me. Yeah, it's God. He's behind me, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, let's begin. The first one is, of course, Halloween by John Carpenter, starring Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasence. This is just a fantastic movie. It's one of the greatest independent films and horror films of all time. And um, on the back here is a stance that beats Hitchcock's Psycho. Nah, it doesn't beat that one, in my opinion. Psycho is a by far better film than this one, but still, this is just a really, it's a true masterpiece among horror and and normal uh, films, because there's a lot of people who are film nerds, but they don't like horror films. Well, this is a very overrated film. <clears throat> very overrated movie in the world. Here in Norway, it's underrated as shit. Maybe some some people like it, but you know, at my school and all that, nobody likes it. And you want to know why they don't like it? Alright, I'll tell you. There was no blood. The killings were lame. And the killer, Michael Myers, he uh, looked weird, and they didn't, li they didn't like the ending. So those little nitpicks made the movie crap. <sighs> I got so fucking angry, because I love this movie so much. It's just a fantastic, great film, and yeah, um, I know a lot of people out there love this movie and I'm one of them it's just a true masterpiece a true classic and a movie I hope will never be forgotten I love it and of course I have another version of John Carpenter's Halloween it's actually the same cover but this one has some extra stuff but you know it's just yeah. So we get to a sequel, Halloween 2, this is not directed by John Carpenter, I don't know who directed this one, it doesn't stand here either, but I don't care. Uh, again, it stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasence, and um, this is a great sequel, yeah, I really like this sequel. Um, it continues the story further, and... Um, but there was a lot of scenes which was very similar to the original. Um, but this is not bad. It's a great sequel and the best sequel, one of the best sequels in the Halloween franchise. And um, it's not bad, but it has some few flaws and all that. And it's not anywhere near as good as the original. So yeah. But great sequel. 
So we got to Halloween 3, which I don't have on DVD because it's almost impossible to find it in Norway. Um, but Halloween 3 is not bad, in my opinion. Um, it's not as good as the original, it's not as good as the sequel, but, you know, when I got to the internet, YouTube, and all that, and I found out that Halloween 3, they didn't have Michael Myers, I was shocked, but I got over it, and I wanted to watch a movie, and I was prepared for no Michael Myers, and I enjoyed the movie. It had great atmosphere, um, I really liked the soundtrack, it was really creepy, and I actually liked the story, I, I thought it was an interesting story, and I liked the third movie. A lot of people hated it, just because Michael Myers wasn't in it. As I know, it's probably very disappointing, but I really don't care, because I think it would be much more interesting if they kept with another Halloween story each movie, instead of just rehatching the same Michael Myers shit, killing people, stabbing them. You know, you know, I love Michael, don't get me wrong, he's the best killer ever, in my opinion. But, two movies is enough to make him famous, they don't have to make over 20 films with him stabbing some people for no apparent reason. Alright? And, uh, I wish they had another Halloween story after Halloween 3, because there's a lot of stuff that happens on a Halloween. And, yeah. But I do wish I could call the movie just Season of the Witch. You know, it's a little weird that they don't have Michael Myers. But, either way, it, it wasn't that bad. Anyways, I don't have whole day. Uh, let's get to Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Now, to be honest, this is my second favorite sequel. Um, Michael Myers is back, of course, and, um, here we're gonna kill, um, what was his name again, um, blah, blah, blah. it's not Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, um, but anyways, Don Pleasance is back, uh, he's a little old, but, who cares, um, and Michael, he's on a hospital, and uh, these people are taking him in the car and just gonna drive him somewhere. I don't know, but um, unfortunately, Michael wakes up, kill the people in the back seat in uh, the car, and uh, the car crashes, and Donald person comes, and um, he finds out that Michael, he's escaped, and you know, same stuff happens again, but. I like this. It was very entertaining, and it's my second favorite sequel. So yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, but there, there was a lot of loss. And okay, Halloween Five. I never liked that one. It was probably the second or the third Halloween movie I saw. I just really didn't care for it. To characters were boring, the story, it just didn't follow up well after the fourth one, it was just an uninter uninteresting sequel, and yeah, I, I just never really cared for it. Halloween 6, Halloween 6 I thought was okay, um, it wasn't really anything big about it, it was kind of like Halloween 4, but just it had some more flaws. Um, some good kills, but you know, it wasn't big. Halloween H2O. This is my third favorite sequel in the franchise. I think this was great bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis. A big problem I have is like um, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, like they never happened. and that makes me a little, really disappointing because, and yeah, but I liked this. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't great. It was g between good and okay. But uh, it was cool to see Jamie Curtis kick some ass and all that. So yeah. 
Halloween Resurrection. I fucking hate this movie because it's fucking dis disgusting, and I'll never watch it again. And I'll <clears throat> fucking hate it. Maybe you like it. I don't care. But I fucking hate that movie. Halloween remake. Okay, it was okay. Um, I liked the origin, but after origin, it was. Just the same fucking rehatch of the original. Halloween 2 was terrible. It was the worst in the series. It was just, oh my god, it was fucking terrible. Uh, but anyways, I have very little time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I, I'll come back soon, and um, goodbye.